Let's say I'm a prospective client and I'm looking at getting some digital marketing uh, work done. My challenge is that there is just so much there. There's so much to do. There's so many different platforms that actually it can be a little bit overwhelming for someone to look at and then they become a bit concerned about cost especially as we're emerging from the pandemic where budgets are tight and they might be nervous that they have to spend a huge amount to get what they need. How do you deal with that concern at Iconic Digital? Well, one of the ways that we would always advocate implementing a good marketing strategy is to focus on what we call omni-channel digital marketing, which essentially is the concept of taking every digital channel across social, search, paid advertising, marketing automation, and then disseminating that campaign in the same way. So essentially, you're making sure that your brand message comes out on each one of those channels. But look, as we're coming out of a global pandemic, I understand businesses have limited marketing budgets. And when you look at the traditional marketing funnel, bigger companies, the enterprises, they'd be focusing traditionally on brand awareness. And that sits right at the top of the funnel. Then we've got market engagement strategies, typically things like social media, mid-funnel marketing, and ultimately then going down towards the bottom of the funnel, which is lead generation. And if I was to counsel anyone who is watching this interview today, I would say, look, if you've got limited budget, focus in on the lead generation strategies that are are going to be able to give you that quantifiable return. So the marketing channels to focus on for lead generation typically would be paid advertising and on Google Ads at the moment, it's a fantastic mechanism to actually deliver traffic to a site that's likely to convert. The second is search engine optimization to make sure that you're ranking on key phrases that are actually going to convert into uh, paying clients. And the final area is marketing automation. The delivery of targeted mail shots via email is still one of the best ways to elicit response for leads. And that's what I would really do is I'd focus the strategy more around lead generation and that way your budget can be slightly tighter but still getting quantifiable results. Now, I had a look at your website before this interview, and what really struck me is there's, there's a big section there all about charity. You have an interesting perspective on that. Tell us more. Well, back in 2009, my father was traveling the world as a Christian missionary, and he returned to the UK with what he thought was a stomach bug. Very, very sadly, uh, that resulted in terminal bowel cancer, and he passed away shortly after that. And one of his projects that he was involved with was involving orphan children and water filtration projects in Africa and Asia. And as we were starting the business in 2012, it was one of my passions really to try and give something back. And today, Iconic Digital gives 30% of our profits to good causes. Not only do we do that here in London uh, and in the UK, but we also then continue to maintain some of those projects, uh, not only as a legacy for him, but the more we grow, the more we can give. And it's something that our clients really buy into as well. Well, fantastic work and great, great to hear about that. And looking forward, I presume you're obviously going to be continuing with those great works. But what about the industry itself, the digital marketing industry? We know it's going through tremendous change at the moment, almost an accelerated pace of change. Where do you see it in, say, the next five, 10 years? What sort of changes should we be anticipating? Digital marketing is moving at such a rapid pace and the innovation within technology is one of the things that's fueling this change. So where I see it going in the next five years is the technology is likely to continue to develop at a very fast pace. This year we've had the privacy scandals with Facebook, we've had the redeployment of the Google Ads uh, algorithm and many, many more technological changes. What we're finding is the use of artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data is all now fueling the way in which marketing is being produced. So we're finding that marketing is going to become far more personalized. It's going to be far more focused around the individual prospects that we're targeting and our customers, but also in the future, we're going to be utilizing technology to drive more and more returns from our own digital strategy. Now, we've talked a lot about quantifiable results in this age of digital marketing and everything associated with that and the rapid pace of change. For anybody who might be watching, who's a decision maker, who's looking at this interview, what key three points would you like them to remember? Well, the first thing I would say is if you are doing digital marketing at the moment and it is not producing you results, please stop it, okay? Please go for something and try doing something new. Digital marketing, the thing I love about it is that it can really 
deliver results and you can track and monitor all the way from the very first interaction all the way through to conversion. And that's a wonderful thing. It's one of the only marketing channels out there that gives us that level of transparency. So it's really important, firstly, that you're utilizing the right digital channels for your business. The second thing is that the technology stack that you use has to be built in the right way. Now, search engine optimization, getting ranked in Google has often been considered a dark art. Really, it's not. It's just a case of ensuring you have the right content that matches the right search journey. And what we're finding at the moment, particularly over the global pandemic, is that searches have actually risen um, in Google. And so the, the result of people actually using their mobile device, mobile is the way forward. And so our website has to be responsive for mobile. But I always encourage people to think slightly bigger than that. You know, we're living in an age when one day we'll be able to go back to having a, a coffee in a coffee shop, Alistair. And ultimately that coffee shop where we're, we're sitting with a table in front of us, that table might be a connected device in which I could browse the internet on. So what's my website going to look like in front of the table that I'm sat on? Or the fridge that now has a, a screen panel on it? So there's so many different devices. As we think about the future of digital marketing, we've got to ensure that our website scales to fit on all of those things. And the final thing, when we think about return on investment, it's all about understanding the quality of our team. If we've got team that are able to understand these marketing channels, then deploy campaigns in the right way, then you're going to get results. But don't just keep doing the same thing over and over again, expecting something different. Utilize an ex expert provider who can really help you to get there. Well, it's been an amazing journey through the world of digital marketing and to see how much it's changing and how much more change is around the corner. It's been great finding out more. Steve Palethorpe from Iconic Digital, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Alistair.